Welcome to the Dice Tower. Today we're going to be taking a look, uh, a playthrough of Pandemic Legacy Season 2. Now this is the second game, the sequel to Pandemic Legacy Season 1. Now we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be playing through the entire game, however many games it might take. The one you're about to see is the prologue game. So I want to talk a little bit about spoilers in regards to this. It doesn't really spoil the game. We don't open anything up. We don't destroy anything we don't you know it's just we're basically playing the intro game you can play the prologue multiple multiple times before you play the game and nothing changes it's just kind of a way to learn how the game works so you can watch this and not really be spoiled on pandemic legacy season two at all this is the same thing that they demo at conventions now do realize that we will make some comments about pandemic season one Legacy Season 1, that might be spoilers for that. So you got to you know, keep that in mind. And if you don't want to know anything, then don't watch this at all. But this is just a way we're going to learn through the game. We make a mistake uh, that we correct about 10 minutes in or so. But this is uh, us learning the game. So here we go. All right, the first thing we need to do before we start is we need to name these three havens out here. These are havens. They're white locations with an anchor. For whatever reason, they're called a haven. Safe these are locations, cities. I guess. Okay. These are cities, and the white ones are havens. So it says, um, "Be cool and come up with a name together." But I think we should just each pick one. Are they all <laughs> the same, or are they all three? Three? Different? No, no, they're three different cities or havens. I guess they're called in this case. Well, some of them are right in the middle of the ocean. So. Okay, one of them is New Hope. That's yours, then. You write it down. Okay. Which one is New Hope? Uh. The one up top, the northernmost one. New Hope, go for it. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Uh, what, what do you got for a name? I'm gonna name uh, this one down here. Uh, it's gonna be like. It looks like it would be like on a big oil rig out in the middle of the ocean. I wanna call it Platform One. Alright, alright, that's cool. And write out the O N E though. Make it cool. O N E? Yeah, like actually write it out instead of the one. And then I'm gonna call yeah. this one here New Atlanta. Since Atlanta was like the main place in season one, this will be New Atlanta. But it's in Europe. You know what? They moved. New it. Hope and New Atlanta? Okay. Oh, Atlanta too. <laughs> well, I already got a one number. Yeah, but mine's going to be... Uh, uh, Roman numerals. Oh, wait, we can't... Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Um, I was going to say Atlantis because... Yeah, let's say Atlantis rose from the ocean. Let's call it Atlantis. Do it, bro. New Atlantis. There he goes again. Atlantis 2. <laughs> Whatever. It's his... That one, he, got, he gets to name this one. Not anymore. Man wants to call it Atlantis. All right, so we have some character cards here. And we're going to be building some <laughs> character cards. Um, so let's talk about some terms before we get to the character cards. Each okay. of the cities has a population. There are three Wait right now, me. the population. So those are surviving cities. The population can go as high as eight. Six, seven, eight is recovering. Three, four, or five is surviving. Two is struggling. One is falling. And zero is forsaken. There's also going to be supply lines. There are none in the game right now, but a supply line will connect one city to another city on land. Okay. Nothing is connected by land. Um, okay. Then, maybe I should... That's where all the bad things are. I guess so. I should read you. The, the world almost ended 71 years ago in 2016. Okay. Or 15. Was that when we played it? Yes. The plague came out of nowhere and ravaged the world. People died. I'm just skipping some of this. The last fragments have definitely some, kept the some. world from collapsing completely. For three generations, we have lived on the seas, on floating stations they called havens. Far from the plague, we are able to provide supplies to the mainland, antibiotics, food, medicine, and tools to keep them and us from succumbing completely. We keep a network of the largest known cities in the world alive. Things have been tough in the past years. Cities far away from the havens have been falling off our grid. We don't know what's happened to them. We don't know why the supplies aren't reaching them. We only have a few cities left in our grid. We are failing. The supplies aren't keeping the plague away like they used to. What's more, they're running out. Our leadership tried to hide this fact from us, but they what we all knew. 
Last week, the leaders and thinkers of the Havens gathered together as they do every year to discuss the states of the Havens and the state of the world. They did not return. What's worse is that our main security team was with them. Without our soldiers, Soldiers. 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 Well, they were like doing gasoline, <laughs> like they're doing Mad Max. You know, it's clearly gasoline, but they soldiers. say gasoline. Maybe soldiers was new soldiers, you know. The, our soldiers, the hollow men, roving bands of savages bent on our elimination, will expand their attacks, tearing down what we build and stealing what we offer. Those of us left met on the havens to discuss what to do next. After hours of debate, we realized that all eyes had turned to a select few to lead us. Right. We're the we're the fifth string. <laughs> there ain't nobody left. We're starting this journal to record our attempts to keep the world from ending. We know we can't save all the cities, but we will do what we can to save most of them. If we fail, we hope that someone somewhere that's you finds these notes to know that we may not have succeeded, but that we tried. That's a cheerful beginning. We all get participation medals. They don't care about so anyway, the future, man. We have the havens, the population, supply lines. Then there's sea lanes. Any locations directly connected or adjacent. But you could have this is considered um, a sea route. So this, you know, could sure. be a sea route as long as you can go from one to another. Okay. This is the the the, the grid is going to be any location that's connected to these starting havens. So these are all part of the grid. All the cities that we can see. There's nine cities, three havens. They're on the grid. Um, there's our objective. Our first objective in the prologue is going to be build three supply centers. And this is uh, that's it. This is part of the the prologue. learning game. The the what well, it they says call it. when the, when we feel like we are comfortable with the prologue, destroy this card and the prologue objective. Okay. Okay. Got it. So this is the learning game. Um, okay. So. We're going to start with a certain number of supply cubes based on what game it is. So if you look up there, the prologue, we start with 36. In December, we will have zero. We, we, lose, okay. we lose them quickly as time goes by. Nothing. At, <laughs> okay. So first, we're going to build all five characters. So we have five characters that we're going to be building. And uh, we get to pick the portraits of these people. Now, here's the thing about characters. At the bottom of characters, they have exposure. Now, we can't take exposure in, a, in the prologue. But in the regular game, if you are ever in a city with a plague cube, you take exposure and you'll cross off the first thing there, which might give you a scar. It might do nothing. You scratch it off. Yeah, you, you scratch mean. it off. Um, it might give you a scar. It might do nothing. And it might kill you. The thing is, we don't know which card is which. Oh, got hey. it. So, so some of these will kill per, the person on the could first be like go. like number two for all I know, right? Got it. That's amazing. So you never know when a character's gonna die. So we need to pick the portraits for five characters. So let's each build a character. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build. Man, I'm gonna build this, this lady here. Okay, so, so you put their her photo here like this. And then you pick one of these five roles. So we have instructor, who can give a, a, a card to a player in your location. These are very similar to the roles in Pandemic. The farmer can do a deliver supplies action for free. The administrator can move a pawn to another pawn. The laborer can build a supply center for fewer cards. The radio operator can give a supply cube to a player in your location. I'm making her the laborer. So that goes up here in her job. Okay. And then I would give her her name, home, age, and uh, place of death. <laughs> we'll just Let's this. hold off on that one. Death? Let's wait on that. Let's yeah, not I have the marker. Wait. Let's not fill that one in yet. What was the name of the guy who, uh, the henchman in Mad Max? The henchman? The, the kid who was like, witness me! Um, uh, oh, whoa, 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 oh, man. I don't remember. Come on, you're the you're the Mad Max. Ah, whatever. I'm just gonna call her Maxina. Sure. Max, Mad Maxina. Maxina. I just call her Angry Maxina. Mad Maxina. I'm gonna take this guy. What? You know how stickers work, right? Have you ever smacked You got to pick one of the havens that that character lives at. So, well, I know Mad which Maxine one mine is. is. going to start at New Hope. No, no. Atlantis, actually, because that's the city I picked. 
picking the dude that looks almost like me and Z. Yeah, I avoided him because I thought you might want him. All right, pass Near the bottom here. there. We gotta build all five characters. Well, hold on, I gotta pick my dude here. Hold on. I don't need a um, profession for this character. <laughs> this guy looks like a radio operator. Is that the one Sam just? Uh oh. No, no, that's, he's giving it to me. Yeah. Um, when doing the Mega Supplies action, you may immediately do a little bit more free. On your turn, action, action, move upon any other pawn, and do that as an action, give one player a card. There's no nice. medic? No, there's no medic. <laughs> I want to be a farmer just because. I think the farmer might be the closest thing to the medic anyway. All right, I'm going to pick this, this person who looks kind of like Deadpool. Call him Dead Fool. That no, dead don't do fool. that. Don't do that. <laughs> <clears throat> and they're going to be the administrator. And their name is Miss Patty. You don't mess with Miss Patty. <laughs> is there so, one more? Yeah, someone build the last one. What are we doing, Sammy, with this one? Um, well, he's going to be the instructor, so we got to pick a guy that okay. looks like the instructor. Well, it could be a woman. Oh, yeah. We yeah, need more yeah, women, yeah. actually. We only and have. And Miss Patty's her, also going to start in Atlantis. An instructor, it's okay. going to be a girl then. And Miss Patty is instructor, 43. Instructor, instructor. This one, it looks. That outfit looks like a uh, like mili military outfit. They Maybe instruct her? you in the hearts of war. I like that one. Is that a girl? Can't tell. That's definitely a girl. Yeah, you want to do that one? Yeah. Instructor. It says, do not fill in the place of death. <laughs> not yet. Can <laughs> I see the marker, please? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Don't forget to pick their starting locations, their home, which will, I'm assuming that's your starting location. Yeah, it's going to be New Hope. There you go. All right. Awesome. Oh. Isn't it a Star Wars name if he's from the New Hope? <laughs> blue Milk is his name. <laughs> Although that's Isn't she a face blue? <laughs> yeah, that's Blue Milk right there. That's Blue Milk for sure. <laughs> Whenever that happens, that person is getting named. Owen Lars, who is Owen that? Owen Lars. Uncle Owen. Oh, okay. And Baru. Got it. All right, don't forget to put their starting location at the bottom there. Oh, oh, okay. The oh, and home. Their home. That's, I'm assuming that's your starting location. Okay, what is the home? What yes. about these ex extra ones? The age, we just make up, Just I make guess. up their age. It, it doesn't matter, although <laughs> it might, for all I know. You want... You want... Who is that one, the instructor? Yeah. Well, the two I picked, both. I picked them both well, starting at Atlantis. Two, we should have... I think these two should live at, uh, at Platform 1. And they cover up so much because that's where the heat is the... Where the sun exposure is the worst. Okay, that's fine. Um, Coming up with this stuff, man, it's good. So, the home is going to be platform one, then, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, these are not hard things. We just write that. It's and, still and, fun, and, man. And Let's age. get into it, fool. <laughs> Nobody's sitting there thinking about the age. Just write a number, man. But that's fun. It's role playing. Platform one. That one too, yeah. <clears throat> oh. All right. So for this is the legacy deck. You guys remember this from the Can we open it and look through it all? Not in the prologue. Name for uh, uh, instructor. Oh, oh we have she a doesn't name have a name, name yet. That's what I was thinking about. I wasn't thinking about the age, but. Um. Should uh, be doctor something probably. Well, Bruce Willis's character was Harry Stamper. So Henrietta Stamper. How about just Doc Henrietta? That sounds like a cool name. Or Doc Stamper. Why Doc Stamper. Doc. I don't know. Maybe she used to be a. Uh... No, she's too young to have been a. I don't know how old she is yet. I guess oh, it was no. 71 years ago that this happened. There's no way. And this time she could be a doctor. Like all these people. To are, be a doctor here, you have to know no how doctors. to pull a tooth out with a pliers. I, I can do that now. How about just H Stamper. All right, H. Fine. H Stamper. H Stamper. Yeah. Okay. So. While Sam's filling that out, let's set up the board here. 
First, we put the number of cubes in a stockpile equal to the number, 36. That's, that's already done. done already, okay. Then we will collect cards from previous games that go on the board, whatever. Turning points, whatever that means. Then we're going to have the plague cubes. They go in their location, Sam. Oh, the shame. There's the plague cubes. Plague cubes go where? In that. Oh, down here. I think okay. that says plague cubes. The uh, incident marker goes up to zero. Got it. This goes on the leftmost two here of this track. And the supply centers are here. Do not read the legacy. We Normally, we would read the legacy deck till we got to the stop. But here it says play using all rules except do not open the legacy deck. Okay. How old do you think she is? Then we're going to supply the grid. We're going to put all supply cubes from the stockpile on yeah. the locations on the grid. Hmm. We're going to put these out on the grid. Um, we can put them out in any number we want. I uh, honestly think that at the beginning it's pretty obvious we put three in all 12 cities. But you can put any number you want from zero onward. Zero is a lo location in short supply, though. Got it. So these are good for them. Right. The grid is... Our havens don't get them, right? Well... It shows them in the havens to start with. There's nine and three, so it has to be. Yeah, that's correct. They don't. They didn't put out cubes in the grid. I don't know why. Okay, then we're going to infect the grid. Is that so, right? Is that everything? Yep. We're now going to shuffle the infection cards. Now, there's one thing, guys. If you notice, there's more than twelve cards here. Yeah. That's because there's multiple cards for each place. What? Holy So cow. just because you draw a card for platform one does not mean it won't come, it won't up. come up again. Are we picked, have we picked any of these Actually, yet? Actually, no? I just realized that we can't draw a card for platform one because we did not write platform one on a card. Our, the havens True. are free from this. We don't have these yet, right? Why, they're havens. All right, here we go. We're going to turn over nine of these. Each one loses a supply. Are you this ready? No Jacksonville loses a supply. Goes back to the Jacksonville loses another supply. Shuffle, bro. Cairo. London. Lagos. Lagos. London. Cairo. Washington. Technically, didn't we nuke Washington? <laughs> They're crawling back. I don't know. One more. Oh, Cairo and again. Lagos. Lagos. Yeah. Stop. Is this okay. helping you out? Um, flip cards go here. Okay, so now we prepare the player deck. This is the player deck here. Now, in the player deck are cards that match all the different cities. Again, there is more than one per spot out here. Okay. There's also cards in here that say produce supplies. So those will be in the deck. And soon... We'll be shuffling in the epidemics. But before we do that, we're going to shuffle these. We also get a certain number of event cards that we can add in. This is just like Pandemic Legacy Season 1. Yeah. We'll get a certain number. We start with four. And if we win, it goes down. If we lose, it goes up. There was only four to put in, Excuse so I've me. already shuffled them in. They're called rationed event, and you just play them when you want to, like the last game. Okay. Um, so we're going to shuffle these. And there's three of us, so we're each going to get three cards. So one, 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 two, 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 three, three, three. And these are all meant to be shuffled? Are they oh. open? Sure, but I mean, we're about to put the epidemics in them. Put them in five different face down. Five stacks? Oh yeah, our hands are face up at all times. Cool. I'll explain what that does in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Five stacks, we're going to add an epidemic card in each stack, and then you shuffle it. <laughs> I don't know what's on that. There's five ed epidemic cards, by the way. Okay. Dang. So five These go in here in it. different stacks. Right. Each of us is going uh, to choose a character, a starting character to play. So I'm going to pick... Uh, I'll pick the first one I made, Miss Mad Maxina, and I'll be pink. And she starts in Atlantis. Sam, who are you playing? I'm definitely going to be Owen Lars, and uh, I'll be in New Hope. Uh, we'll go with um, Gray. Hiding amongst the supply cubes. 
And I'll take, um, those are all the colors I got, huh? No yellow. I will take the white one here then, and I will be Airwave, and I start at Platform 1. All right, so there are two characters are not in this game. And then, uh, Gray goes first. Hey, Bob. That was futuristic right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's all the setup for the game. Um, uh, I'll give everyone an action card here. You have... Who's blue? I don't know what is blue. Who's white? Is it me? It's me. Pink is me. You have two action cards, and if you notice on the other side, it says new actions. But there okay. are none. So let's go through this. The first thing you'll do in your turn is you will check for exposure. You're, and we're not going to do that in a prologue, but in future games, if you're in a city with a plague cube, you will cross Scratch off, off one, one of these. those things, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> then you get four actions. Also, free actions. So I'm going to talk about the free actions first, because you can do the free actions as many times as you want. Okay. They don't count. The free actions, you can take as many supply cubes from the location you're in and put them on your card. On okay? your You can pick up supplies. Card. Or if someone else is at a, uh, the same location as you, you can trade off as many of those supply cubes as you want with that person. Okay. Those are free. Now, here's what we can do for an action. You can move to an adjacent location, connect it by a line, which we cannot do in this game because there are no lines on the board. We can also sail. Uh, you discard a card to move to that city. Or if you are in the city, you can do the charter boat and go to any location. As long as it's connected through a sea route, which right now, every city is connected through a sea route. So wait, wait, wait. So in, th in this game... So driver ferry is not happening right now, obviously. Sailing... You can basically, if I'm at, the, at platform one, I can go to New York going through New Hope to New York by discarding New York? Yes. Got it. I have no idea how we're supposed to get back to our havens. You don't. Hmm? I guess. I don't know. Maybe there's cards that just say go back to a haven, any haven. I don't know. Anyway. Maybe we were not supposed to start with those initial cubes on, uh, on the havens anyway. Again, to put it... I don't well, it said, put them on the... Moment. I know, but it said, put any number of supply cubes on each location, on the locations of the grid. Back here it says the grid is any location that's connected to the starting havens. Okay, the, the starting havens aren't part of the grid. I know, I'm just saying that it showed cubes on the, the picture here, on the havens, but whatever, let's just move them off for now. We'll just, we'll just do it evenly, to be fair. Yeah, it's oh Atlantis. Oh yeah, sorry. Because that's what we would have done. We would have split them. We would have put four per city, right? Yeah. Okay. So anyway. So that's sailing. But here's the thing. So as as far as you tell, in this game, you can't right now. We can't move for free. We got to pay a card to move. Yes. You can also make supplies. You can just take one of these and put it on your card. Where's that? Oh, it's you're doing this in some random order. I'm doing order. the order okay. it mentions it in the book. It's on the okay. other card. Um, you can also produce supplies. If you have a produce supply card, Z has one of those. In the, you can do in two different things. You can do local production, which means you fill the city that you're in up to its population. So three would okay, go. It says right here, local production at a haven or supply center. Fill your current location to its population. No, no, I'm with sorry. It says that here cubes. too. Right. So why wouldn't we start with? them there. I'm just following the rules as written. I don't, I don't know. Read that other part again. <clears throat> well, this definitely says place all supply cubes from the stockpile into the locations of the grid. You can place any number of supply cubes, including zero, in each location. As the grid grows, there might not be enough supplies to fill locations. Players will have to decide which locations are in sort supplies. So We also infect the grid. Back here, the grid, the board is largely empty as the world is mostly unknown to you. The grid refers to any location that is connected to the starting havens. I could see that you could argue that the havens are connected to the havens. Any location connected to the havens. I'm not worried about it anyway because these the, the, none of these cards are starting havens anyway, so why should we put cubes there? Well, it doesn't matter. It says we don't have to distribute them evenly. Yeah, right, so. okay. Okay. So anyway, you can... This produce supplies... Anywhere you're at, you can fill it up to whatever its number is. 
by playing that card. You also can play that card and fill everything on the grid, all Haven Supply Centers to their population. However, we then check a box at the bottom, and if we fill in all those, we rip the card up. Ooh. Also, we're not allowed to do that action in the prologue. Okay. Sure. You can also deliver supplies as a, one action. You can put as many cubes from your card onto the location you're at. And you can share knowledge. You can give a city card that matches the city you're in to another player or take a city card that matches the city you are in from another player. I believe this is different than Pandemic. Same thing. I didn't know you... Can you give or take yes. in Pandemic? Oh, okay. And both players have to agree. No kidding. Hand limit of seven cards. But what we need to do to win the game in this one is build three supply centers. Building a supply center, five cards that match the color of the city you're in. So is it have. these things? No. No, those... This is a recon <coughs> ability. We're not allowed to do this in the, pro, in the prologue, but this is how we're going to be opening new packages and things. Okay, so that's later. So, like here, you have to go with five different yellow cards in that city. Okay, sure. So we're doing just build supply centers, and that entails what exactly again? Whatever city we're doing it in, so London, cards. I would have to discard five blue cards. So Sam is... And we put something there to mark that we did it? Yeah, the supply, supply centers. Have I can you played Pandemic before? <laughs> that ain't no supply center, sir. That is a hospital, I believe. Uh, I can build a supply center for one fewer card if I spend two cubes off my card. Okay. What's your special ability? Uh, whenever you do the transfer supplies free action, you may give or take supply cubes from a player in any location. So That's I don't pretty have to, cool. I don't have to be with you to give you or take supplies from you. When doing the make supplies action, I can immediately do the deliver supply actions for free. When you make supplies... <coughs> I can immediately deliver. Oh, so you are basically pulling them from here and just putting them straight on here for one action. Yes. So you are kind of the medic. Yeah. I knew it. All right, so recon. Nothing about recon. After you do your four, after you do your four actions, you'll draw two cards from here. If you draw an epidemic, of course, tough luck for you. When epidemic happens, we will increase this by one. We will draw the bottom card from here, and all the supply cubes from that city are gone. <laughs> Oof. And then we will discard that card here. And then we will shuffle these, put them on top. And we will draw cards from here at the end of your turn equal to that. We will take a supply cube from each city that we draw them from. If there are no supply cities there, we add a plague cube to that city. Whenever we add a plague cube to a city, that's an incident. And we move that down one over there. I have a question. <coughs> if you are in a city that gets nailed by the bottom card of that thing, and you have supplies on your card, do the supplies that are on your card also go away? No, it doesn't say that. It says all supply cubes in the city. Yeah, but you're not in the city. They're on your body, and you were a jerk for not giving them to that city. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just saying, that might be a way, then, that we protect supplies. Is there... True, but we don't want play cubes out. We, we, <coughs> we, want the, we don't want those play cubes out. Those play cubes will also... Um, the plague cubes also, if there are three in a plague city, we add instead of adding a fourth one, it outbreaks. The problem with outbreaks is it moves that incident thing moves one for every cube we put out. An outbreak in this game murders us. Okay, that's like a super outbreak. This already putting one of these is almost already basically an outbreak. It behaves like an outbreak. I also, as far as I can tell, I can't find any way to get rid of those plague cubes. Shoot them. <laughs> Shoot them. No, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure that's later. To, that's coming later, you know? But when we put out a, when we, when we, uh, put out a, a supply cube, it doesn't say, um, deliver supplies. It doesn't say it can't have a plague cube. So I guess plague can exist and supply simultaneously. Oh, okay. So let me just double check. Hmm. If the city put a play cube there, blah, blah, blah. An incident happens whenever a play cube is in a location. Move the incident marker forward one space, which can make us lose the game. If you start where there's a location with play cubes, you get exposed right. in, in, the, in the normal game. When an outbreak occurs, remove one like supply this. cube from every location adjacent to the city. Oh, I see. Okay, it doesn't necessarily throw plagues. Okay, I was wrong. If your city gets a third plague cube, it has an outbreak, 
it doesn't spread play cubes. It gets rid of a supply cube from each spot next to it. Okay. But if there is no supply cubes, then we put out a play cube. It's still bad. Got it. Got it. Got it. The game ends when we finish our objective. So in this case, we're trying to uh, build three supply centers. And the... Uh, we that's it. Sam, you're first. Oh, I guess I should uh, read a couple more things. Commonly overlooked rules: people, you do not draw a replacement card after drawing an epidemic, but we know that. When you share knowledge, you could, must may take card from another player if you're both in the city that matches the card. We know that hand limit applies at all times. Locations can contain any number of supply cubes. It's just that when we use this, that card, it goes up to that number, but they can have more than that number. Okay. So, Sam, you're first. So we are basically, oh. the main objective is build those supply centers, but also protect these places by giving them supplies. Right, so here we don't open a legacy deck. We, our characters can't get exposed. We can't do recon actions. We can't do the system-wide production on those produced supply cards, and we don't do the game end steps. We barely got our heads around this mess, and yet we now find ourselves in charge. We're covering ourselves up and heading out on supply runs to see the front lines and gauge how bad things are. Things are going to get real very soon. The hollow men will tear down our supply centers almost as soon as we build them, but we've got to start restoring our presence on the mainland. Build three supply centers. Okay. Um, well, this so seems pretty straightforward. <clears throat> on my first turn, I'm, I'm the closest, I think, to, to getting a supply center built. You've got a New York over there, right? Yes. Um, but the problem is, is that I have to use my New York card to get over there. So what I was thinking is, one of my turns would be discarding this to go to New York. Second turn would be to take yours. Well, how's he going to give it to you? It's be in the same location. Oh, you do have to be in the same location. Okay. See, this is whenever I do the transfer supplies action, I can... Well, not supplies. That's these. Yeah, yeah, right. Wow. So this is... So we're trying to gather equal colored cards, but we're trying to manage these. Yeah. Also, otherwise bad things will start happening. That's so, what we should start doing, is just start grabbing this. So make supplies lets you get these, and deliver supplies lets you put them out wherever you that are. That kind of sucks. We need five cards, but you technically need six, because you gotta spend the card to get there. Yeah. All right, well, uh, what I can do is... We I all can, do that. We all have to spend cards I can do this. I can do this for three actions. Unless it says... No, it says only once on my turn. So. Yeah, but why would you want to stick them in a New Hope anyway? Oh, well, I guess for <laughs> outbreak purposes. Yeah. That's why you wouldn't want them there. So I could do this. Yeah, but that's fine because you want to go, go drop them off in those other cities anyway. They're the yeah. ones that are going to have outbreaks. All right, so that's one, two, three, and then four. You going to London? Go to New York. Go for it. All right, but New York seems okay. It has four cubes. Okay, we'll go to London then. I see London. I see... No, I don't see France yet. Okay. And then we do bad stuff. Right? Oh, oh what's next? So do four actions, draw two cards. Was there an epidemic at the top? Who shuffled? He did. No. Hey, I got a New York. I just want to see the <laughs> mechanisms that work. <laughs> So increase, uh, move the infection rate marker up, infect all the bottom card, and remove all the supply cubes there. Istanbul. Istanbul. That's four. Oh, right wow. Good job. And then Z. intensify, shuffle the cards in the infection, put them back on top. <coughs> oh, no. Good job. It's looking okay so far. I don't know if you got the word. might be playing the prologue again. <laughs> <laughs> Ten prologues later. <laughs> oh, we can't win this game. All right, so that's my turn. No. Oh, yeah, we got to infect, right? Two. Uh, Lagos. And? And that puts one of these out. We're, we're awesome. That happens. <laughs> we're doing so well. I don't know what you guys All are right, about. is it this my is turn? fine. I'm going to change the name of my uh, haven. To no hope. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that I can't. This is really weird. I can't go to where I want to go. I'm not used to that. Like I need. I, I want to. I was gonna go here and drop some cubes off, right? But I. But I can't. Because you don't have that city. 
Yeah, I don't have Istanbul. And you can't walk. Why can't you walk? I mean, oh, a drive. Fair. But you can do charter boat. You just discard the card that matches. You. It's like a charter flight. Yeah, it's great, but I'm not in that. I would need two. All right, so uh, I'm just going to I'm gonna load up with cubes. Actually, I'm going to load up with... Yeah, I'm going to load up with four cubes. That's my whole turn. Okay. Now i got to produce supplies. It's not bad. And I produce supplies. I just got to actually get to the cities to do that. And then, London. And Cairo. I okay. think we're winning, guys! Transfer supplies. Looking good! No. Hope. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Man. Supply this cubes. movement thing is killing me. I need some blue milk. So I'm over here. Unless drive, hang on. There's drive ferry. Okay, drive ferry. I was incorrect on that. It says move to an adjacent spot by a line. So we can go to another one. What, did you argue with me that before and I said no? No. Okay, so I'm giving Sam his. I did think that though. I was like, aren't these lights? Yeah. Here's your London card back. Because you would have went there for free. For free. <laughs> okay. And I would have taken one less cube and gone to Istanbul. Alrighty. So. Although when a plague cube shows up, I mean, I'm doing it because it's prologue. <laughs> but I don't know if I want to cross one of these out. But mm -hmm. I don't see that that's going to be possible. We're going to have to take them at some point. You like walk in there and deal with it and get out or, you know. Um, I'm going to go to New York and wait for you there, Sam, if you want to take this card from me then. Oh, that's a good idea. If you're spending two actions to go to New York? That's not New that's York. That's not New York. You told me to go to London, which is on the other side of the Pacific. I mean, the Atlantic. Um, had I done what I wanted to do. I know, but we didn't know. That he was like, oh, you got to get rid of the card to go to the thing. It's not my fault. I'm gonna go to New York. One, two, three. I was alpha player. I felt a little alpha player -ish as I said it, and then you were like, okay. And I was like, oh, I don't mean to be the alpha player. I'm uh, sorry. What I meant was do what you want, you jerk. Whatever. And draw two of these. Oh, we got an event. What does it do? Ration to Ven one quiet night. Skip the next infect city step. Do not flip over any infection cards. Play at any time, not an action. I do like that. You ready to infect cities? <laughs> sure. Lagos and Jacksonville. Is Jacksonville us? I feel like that would be. Yep, that's us. All right, uh, so. Um, I think I'm going to... Deliver one good. Oh, we're not going to be able to supply that? Oh, oh wait. What I meant was, do what you want. I'm going to make <laughs> supplies and do it for free. So I can make a supply and deliver for free. So that's one. Right. Take one supply cube from the stockpile and add it to your character card. I'm going to do that. I need to get over to New York, right? Okay, so that's two, three more actions. And then... I give you this for four. Four. I assume, yes. Share knowledge, yeah. I've got three of a kind, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm beating you guys. It's almost a full house. I have two produced supplies. All right, Sam gets two more cards. Okay, nice shuffle job, guys. Well, there's only three colors. You got seven, so you're good. And we're gonna infect London and Jacksonville. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> My first action, I'm producing supplies. Where are you? I'm here in 
Istanbul. Istanbul. And so... Well, you would have you would take exposure first, right? But you were not doing that, but right. that would be the first thing. But okay. I'm going to uh, fill your current location this population with supply cubes. So that comes from here. That's local production. Okay. So I did that. That's one. There's no line to London. Okay. That and would then, be over the land, so no. Two... Three, and then four. That seems like the best option. I, I mean, I want to get to those other places, but Sao Paulo, and take up the two supply cubes and the supply stockpiles and put them on any locations. If you guys don't mind, I'm gonna play that now. Yeah, up to two. Yeah, so. and one in there, and one in Jacksonville. All right, let's see what happens. Bad stuff, I'm sure. Cairo. Oof. And Washington. Okay. If I get one more yellow card, I can do it too, because I can pay two cubes to do, to do it for the missing card. Four. So figure if anybody ever wants supplies, I can give or take supplies, and no matter where you are. Is that on your turn? Yes. Well, why don't... On your turn, then, why don't you take these supplies and head down to Washington or Jacksonville? Or both. Drop one off each. Or go to London and do that, you yeah. know, whatever. Yeah. For transfer, you can take supplies? Whenever you do the transfer supplies free action, you may give or take supply cubes from a player in any location. Oh, man. You want some? Well, no, I mean, I don't want your filthy cubes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My cubes come with bad rule reading. One, two. Take those. Okay. And I can drop off, uh... You drop off as many as you want for one action. What do you think? Should I drop them all off, though? I don't see why not. I mean, what does it matter? I mean, that keeps London safe forever. That was three. We care about London. <laughs> and uh, for four... I'm gonna get out of there and go back to New Hope. Then I draw two cards. Lagos and Jacksonville. This is good. All right. Ready for infection? <laughs> Not yet. Because I might play this. Well, do we need to right now? Mm -hmm. No, go if, ahead. If Cairo comes up, it'll be bad. Washington. Cairo. And New York. That was not bad. Oh, there's no cubes in Cairo. I didn't notice right. that. That's why I said what I said. All right, Sam, you're building the supply center? All right, so I'm going to build a supply center. And each, each city can only have one supply center, by the way. Okay. Now, notice, this is not like pandemic. We don't need to do three different colors. I know. We can build three blue ones if we wanted to. Okay. Um, then I'm going to... That was one action, right? Yeah. Second action is going to be to... Go down... I guess it doesn't matter. I'll go here, and I'm going to do my farmer thing. Mm-hmm. That's free or? Yeah, well. One time? When, well, yeah, once per turn. Nice. And then that's two. Then that's three. Four. He's just taking the cube. He's not placing it. Yep. All right. Um. Oh, sorry. No worries. Jacksonville, Cairo. All right, so then we have Sao Paulo and New York. Oh, sorry. New York and Sao Paulo. All right, so I can, if I go here, mm -hmm. I can get those cards from you, right? Am I there? Well, no, you, you could come there, right, couldn't you? I only need one. Yeah, sure, yeah. Go ahead right, and so wait. I'm gonna go here. Just wait for me there, for but you know, wait for me sitting down. I'll drop off the. Not going. Two. <laughs> <laughs> and three. Oh, one, two, and then four, I guess. I'll just keep filling up on cubes. Alrighty. You can always take cubes from me if you need them anywhere. And okay, so I get two more cards. Uh, maybe I don't even need. Okay, never mind. Ugh. 
All right, and then London. And wait, I thought these had capacity. In Sao no. Paulo. That's only when you play this production card thing. Okay. In Sao Paulo. All right, I feel okay here. We're not doing too bad. All right, so it's me. In this easy prologue. Cairo. Why? Actually, he's got to get a pandemic. That too. I, so I have to go to. Um, do I need to go to Lagos for you? Yeah, and then you can give me the card. All right, fine. One, two, three. Now get out. And then for this last one, I am in Lagos. I could do a charter boat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. You can go anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Along a sea route. So I could go to Cairo. Yes. But I don't have anything to drop off. For the supplies in Cairo, though. He has no more actions. Yeah, I'm out. I went one, two, gave him a card for three. Charter is four. Four. Still. Go right there. Oh, but. Oh, yeah, I did. I mean, technically, I would not do that because Possibly. exposure would exposure be bad. Exposure would be bad, yeah. I think that we're going to have to, when we're actually playing, if we're trying to win, we're going to have to just suck up exposure. Nope. I'm not going to get exposed <laughs> one time. Did we ever take a scar? And I think one person took a scar in our season one. We were very safe. All right, so I'm doing it. All right. You know, because of the way the cards are shuffled, we could get two epidemics in a row. Sure. All right, so first, increase. Still only two. Infect. Sao Paulo are gone. And then we shuffle these and put and them And then I'm going to do one quiet night. Oh, nice. Good idea. Sam, it's a quiet night. I'll shuffle while you put Good idea. While, while you go. Good idea. Do it quietly. All right, here's the thing. Quiet I night. could, just to make sure that you don't get hit in Cairo... Right. I'm going to fly to Cairo. Fly me to the moon, man. So that goes there. And I'm going to come over here. And but you're taking a ferry, like a, a right. yeah, 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 boat. Yeah. There's no flying. Hey, man. Stop trying to inject Airplanes don't this. exist? Trying to inject They're all busted. Theme into this. This is super thematic, man. Uh, Pandemic meets Mad Max. I'm all over game. this. Right, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm like, one of these hollow men show up, deliver, and is there nothing inside them? I'm going to deliver the one that I had. I'm going to, that was one, two. I'm going to make another one and use my ability. That's three, yeah. That's three. And then uh, four will be to just, uh, do I want to fly back to Jacksonville? No. It's a nice place. Honest. I'll just do four to have one on my, on my sheet. All right, give him two cards. Blam. Blam. There we go. And now two. We're still at two, yes. Lagos. And... Oh, no! So that plague! Whoosh. I smell some hollow man. All right. So my first turn, I'm going to build... Oh, wait. Do I, am I in a... I am in a yellow city. So I'm going to build this plus two cubes. And our second supply center is built. All right, man. We're pulling our weight. What's up with you? I, I, I was... Captain Pandemic. I was trying to do the thing about the put out of the put out the then, supply center. That was my first action. My second action will be go here. My third action will be produce supplies. That's up to three. Three. You got one more action. Give me that before you forget it. Uh, do you wanna? Do you want cubes here? I would love cubes, man. Oh, but I'm I can't like, do that on my turn. It's only on your turn, mind, right? yeah. Only I can do it on my turn, yes. How many cubes are we allowed to send to each other? As many? Yeah, I think oh, so. Well, I'll take a cube then, right? I mean, well, if you need cubes. Oh, I see. All right, two cards. A Washington and a Produce Supplies and New York and London. Bum, bum, ba, da, da. All right, so. So we don't really have anyone close enough to build the third supply center. It could be any color. It doesn't matter, right? Yeah, you're, I mean, we're, I'm, I'm close on either. Blue yeah, or and I'm a mess. Blue or so. yellow. And I got one of each. That plus two cubes is two, which is nothing really, so. Where am uh, I at? Can I'm I get, here. is he a triple, triple league card? The Marines are there. I think they fought the battle there. On the shores. Why would I want that card? No, you can because I'm. We're not both there. No, I'm saying, but I, I'm, I'm talking about things we can work towards. 
I'm going to get out of there actually and go to Jacksonville. It's looking a little sad over there. So I'm going to fly over to Jacksonville. Oh, he said fly. I'm going to you messed it fly up over again. the wall. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got to get used to that. I'm going to sail over to Jacksonville. I'm calling it now. There'll be a biplane in this game somewhere. That would be cool. I feel like I'm going to. That's my first action. So for my second thing, I'm going to take those cubes you've got. That's a free thing. All of them? Sure. Okay. When I add them, there's no limit, right, you said? That's correct. Although, when the infection happens, if that's the card drawn, you uh, know, know, they're all gone. So it's one action to get over there on a boat. Second action. Third action, I'll go right here. Going to take that for free. Why are you taking all my supplies, man? And this is my fourth action. Are you sure you're not the traitor? <laughs> is there a traitor? Oh, I guess no, I could have done this, there. actually, for my fourth. Yeah, keep that filth. That's right. Doing that, just putting two in there. All right, I like this. Good job. Draw some cards. Two blacks, Not the traitor, guys. Yeah. It is! You've drawn all three! Has he drawn all three? Yes! <laughs> Good job, we just filled up Tripoli. <laughs> Hello, man. I don't know why I've got a tentacle mouth. Cthulhu. Nah, this can't be Cthulhu. No. It's not even close. I think they're trying to put some realism in the game anyway. Like, even the, the first season, they weren't zombies. They were, like, shambling spoilers. Infected people. I told people there'd be spoilers. Now we're drawing three, though. We need to get cranking here. New York. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Apparently you're farting cubes away and so uh -huh. <laughs> What's wrong with you? That's how it spreads. That's how it spreads. <laughs> it's a methane. It's an airborne it's a methane, methane virus. Disease. Can you imagine? That's really, you hear someone fart, you're like, get up! Run! I do that anyway, you know. <laughs> All right. Who's, who's go? It's That's your go, Sam. I think, right? Sam, I could give you a Washington card, I guess. If we want to go for blue, I just don't know what you're going to draw. That's the problem. Yeah, plus you're on the other side of the world. We also need the triage because here's the deal. The Tripoli card is one of the next two or three cards. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I can go there. Oh, you can do your free, and you, you got your free. Yeah, and drop you're that right off. You're right there, do, yeah. Do the thing. So, uno, dos, tres. Thought that one was free. It was, but it, it take free. it's still an action to take it. He's taking it from the supply and putting it in. Okay. Um, and then uh, I can go to. Um, now that we have these, move a pawn to another pawn is a neat thing. <coughs> and this will give a, any player card to a player in your location also pretty handy. Maybe go to Atlantis. Those are pretty standard pandemic powers. Yeah, but I'm under. I wish I could give these to you. Maybe go to Atlantis. Going to Atlantis, why? Because I got a one action left and I don't know what to do with it, honestly, other than just take another cube. Well, where are you? I'm in uh, yeah, Tripoli. I guess that, yeah, that's, a, that's not a bad idea. You mean going to Atlantis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that way you can get to a lot of spots from your next in your next turn. All right, I need you to draw two blues. I got one blue and What's I got that? a move. Oh, that has a airplane in it so apparently airplanes are a viable option move any one pawn to any location get permission before moving another player's pawn why do they have to put that in there i know it's always i'm moving you i don't want to you're going i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i guess we don't have we don't have the ability to fly do, do yet do you think like a pandemic like there's been a huge debate like i was gonna move you you are not you touch that pawn <laughs> That's breaking the rule. Maybe. The guy's like, you're a moron! <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, there's got to be ways for us to fly, and we just don't have the ability yet. All right, here we go. Yet. London. Yeah. Tripoli. Uh, you're welcome. Sao Paulo. Who knows? Oh, it's my turn now. So just you need one more blue card, and that's it? No, two. I need two, yeah. What about you? I got blue cards. <coughs> but you don't only need four cards and two cubes, right? How many cards do you have of a color? One. Move, move your hands. One. My special ability's not really working too well. Can you use point. the to produce supplies and make a set of four of those and turn them in? No. That's a joke. 
Uh, should I head to Washington? Yes. But Sam has only three blue cards, right? Yeah, and none of them are Washington. No, but if I go to Washington, I can give you my Washington card. Ah. Yeah. One, two, And I have three, one, too, actually. And I can but take it from you. That's true, actually. If you go to Washington and I go to Washington on your turn, you can take both. If okay. You're, if you're near there. How are you going to get to Washington? Well, I'm right next to it. But oh, okay. And then you could just fly there. Okay. All right, but before I, before I go, I'm going to... Oh. I'm going to put two more here, and then I'm just going to take... That was my first action, and two, three, four. I'm reporting to the president, sir. Your first sir. action, you put two cubes out? I from did your uh, own so produce supplies. Got it. Guys! If you had kept it... Wow. You would have had four of the same. I don't believe you could do that. <laughs> these are interesting, though. Any color. Can you imagine, like, in a real game, you can supply every city with these? That's, so, that's going to be so, so tempting to do I did do notice that some of them have a single cube, some have two, some have three. Right. See that? But that's going to be tempting to... Oh, yeah. I'm, so, I'm doing it every time. I'm not the traitor. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be two cubes missing on the board completely. So the like, let's fill them. All right, here we go. Three. Blow this card up. Oh, good. Sao Paulo. Jacksonville. Jacksonville. And Jacksonville. Jacksonville. <laughs> All the places I was. <laughs> I was the Tell you something. <laughs> a trend. Uh-huh. So it's right, me. Z. The president has summoned you. Oh, you're already here. Washington. Hey. Washington. No, he's not there yet. Oh, he's in New York? He's watching a Broadway play. Done by Mad Max characters. Oh That's my creepy. Goodness. No, they're doing the play from, uh, Take what one was that uh, movie the, with the dragons? And they were doing Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, And yeah, the yeah, white yeah. knight fought yes. the black knight. Yes. Yes, what is that? Um, and the black knight said. Uh, it's something dragon. Dr no, it's Reign of Fire. Reign of Fire. Yeah, I like that movie. All right, one, two... Three All to move to Washington. Hey, Actually, man. why don't I uh, drop these off in New York instead? Because you're in Washington already anyway. Well, why don't you just do one on one? Because that's two separate oh, actions. Oh, yeah, that's true. So one, two to grab them, three to drop them off, four to just come meet you. Though technically, oh, you're not there. No, I'm not. It's you who's there. Okay. Now we just got to draw some cards. Right. It's all good. Three bully. And three here. Cairo. New York. Ah. Washington. Ah. All right. All right. So, um, would it be a separate action to take a card from you and then take a card from you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. two actions. But you got that. Yeah. You can get there. Okay, the airplane. So I'm going to do that. Ooh. Super quick. And then I'll take a card from you, take a card from you. Which yeah. one? <laughs> Third action is to build. Fourth action will be to take this. Well, we're done. <laughs> I think actually. we just won. Hey, I'm playing the game. All right, cool, cool. So that's the prologue, right? Again, yeah, they the show you the kind of how it flows. This idea of, uh, like, you know, bad cubes behaving basically the same way that they behave in pandemic, and then you get to zero and you go the other way with good cubes, supply cubes. Yeah, it's interesting. That's interesting. I'm a little worried well, about like when we start a, with like you 12 on the board. It and then eventually start actually adding bad cubes. It's kind of interesting. But the first time you get a bad one, you, they treat it like an outbreak. They call them incidents here, but that's crazy. Well, at this point, we're going to be, this is the end of the prologue. We're going to be going to the game one. At this point, and when you watch game one, there will be spoilers galore at this point. But Absolutely. This is, a, I think this is safe to, well, this video would be safe to, to tell people to watch and see how the game works, at least the basic game. We didn't really spoil much at all, or if anything. I mean, the only thing you know now is that we wrote some names on the board, the mechanism of supplies, and you saw some stickers and some goofy names. Destroy this card and the objective card. <laughs> Witness me, brother! Witnessing me! Oh, <laughs> witnessing me! <laughs> oh, wait, they meant destroy this. <laughs> All right. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassal. I'm Z Garcia. And I'm Sam Healy. We'll see you guys on the flip side of the prologue.
Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.